Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And as we are starting the month, we are doing so with you in the midst of some pretty fun energy, maybe overdoing it a little bit as well. If you remember late last month, we had a new moon. I spoke all about it in last month's horoscope. You might wanna have a look at that again because that is the energy that we are bringing into this month and that you certainly are enjoying as the month begins. But like all things, including energy, it must change. And as we navigate towards the middle of the month, right around the 14th, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. Well, that is when we are going to have this month's full moon. This full moon will be taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendships and groups that you belong to. It has to do with your alliances with others, particularly when you're participating in things like group endeavors, anything from therapy and support groups to professional groups. All of that is covered here. Well, there are some interesting things happening with this full moon. It is close in the sky with Neptune and standing across the sky with precision, I might add, that Neptune and Mars are exactly opposite each other in the sky under the light of this full moon. And it is going to be, of course, the sun that is close in the sky with Mars. And so we have this configuration playing out, which does suggest strong emotion and very possibly uh, some very emotional closures that can happen under a full moon as it does. There can be a sense of feeling vulnerable or wearing your emotions on your sleeve, as they say, your heart on your sleeve, especially where it comes for you and your interactions with others. So for some, it could be that a certain project ends or a group endeavor comes to a close. Maybe you're aware of it, you know it's coming up for others. It may feel particularly ephemeral, like something that you thought would stay around a little bit longer. Maybe the universe is making it clear that it's time to go and it's time for it to evolve or at least for you to evolve. As part of this as well, if it is that you are involved in some support group type of uh, atmosphere, well, this can be a very powerful time where either you're gonna go in a direction of feeling strong things and feeling changed as a result, feeling more healed as a result, or you are gonna go in the direction where you realize that maybe your future healing may not be in this particular endeavor. There's another layer to this, of course, having to do with friendships, those personal alliances that you have with others. And I'm sorry to say, sometimes with this energy, it can feel a little disappointing. Whether it is that a friend and their behavior feels a little disappointing to you, whether it is a friend feels like they go way too far, that's possible here as well. Or it may be you that ends up going way too far. Keep in mind with this energy, if you are socializing with friends or even uh, if it is professionally as well, there is the energy here that says you may overdo it a little bit too much. So that is something you want to be mindful of, particularly when it comes to things like wine um, and also in terms of how it is that you are expressing yourself. It's almost like you go a little bit too far with some people under this energy. Now, it doesn't have to be that way, right? The great thing about the sky is when we contemplate the sky and we cultivate wisdom, then we are prepared and we know and we have that sense of, okay, how now am I going to engage the sky and use it to my advantage? And the way that you use the sky to your advantage is that you spend time with people that you trust. You limit those mind altering things that might be flowing quite a bit for a lot of us of many different signs, especially with this Neptune. And at the same time, you are in spaces where you feel like you can be emotionally expressive, where you can share the range of the things that you feel and know that you will be loved and supported in the process. It is in those spaces that this energy brings you to authentic empowerment. Now, just a few days after this full moon, right around the 18th is when Saturn is going to go direct. There is a lot of like reality energy at this time. Uh, for some people, it's gonna feel as if, you know, reality is a bit of a bitter pill. 
For others, it's going to be something that feels like more of an embrace, but all of us in some way are going to feel as if we finally understand what the responsible thing is, what the adult thing is, and what's going to move us towards greater self-respect. For you, this uh, Saturn has slowly but surely moving through fellow earth sign Capricorn, which means right there, it's in your element. You're able to use this energy that much more to your advantage, but it is moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with things like long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, even political matters are covered here as well. And for you, this can be a particularly enlightening time where you come to understand where it is that you have power, but also the limits of your power as well. You come to understand what is worth doing and maybe what isn't and maybe what it is that you just want to put to the side for now as you focus on things that are more tangible for you in the more immediate future. Now, as we navigate towards the later part of the month, that is when we are going to have this month's new moon. Right around the 28th of the month is when we are going to have a new moon take place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. This is your workplace, the people who surround you there and the type of work that you're doing. Now this new moon is going to stand across the sky from Chiron. Chiron is uh, really the most widely used asteroid in modern Western astrology today. And it is a symbol of healing and vulnerability uh, where it is that we are encouraged to overcome our wounding and where it is as well that maybe we become aware of it as well. And there is an intimate connection between Chiron and things like alternative therapies, uh, taking care of ourselves physically, but spiritually and emotionally as well. Now, these may be particularly strong needs for you at the time of this new moon. So make sure you are carving out that time. Make sure you are uh, actually ensuring that you are looking at where you are in terms of your health and you're addressing any issues that come up from a very holistic perspective. But that doesn't mean that you ignore a perspective. So what do I mean by that? It is. It's wonderful to have, you know, uh, acupuncture and uh, therapy and uh, spiritual healing. It has its place and it is valuable. It's valuable on so many layers, but so is uh, really established medicine, going to your regular doctor, going to your general practitioner or a specialist as well. These also have their place. They are all gifts. They are all a part of the resources and the means and the ways that we have to ensure that we're able to take the best of care of us. In some way, you are going to be asked to take care of yourself. That is key here. And as it is that you are looking at the different ways in which to address self-care as a spiritual practice, self-care as an affirmation that you are worthy of your own self-love, make sure you stay open to all the options that are available to you in that very practice. Now, this part of the sky, as I said, also has to do with work. There may be new opportunities where it comes to work, like a day job, the type of work you're doing, the people who surround you there, new people may come in as well. If new people come in, they can have a particularly healing influence or it may feel as if you feel kind of vulnerable around them. That can happen. Some people do that. But if you are in a healing profession, right, however you understand that, well, this can be a time of a lot of opportunity, maybe some mixed feelings around some of those opportunities, but it does look like the opportunities are there. And of course, if it is that you're not in a healing profession, but it is that you want to actually gain employment or just take on more hours, well, all of that becomes possible under this energy. But remember, it's never about what we think. So what I mean by that is, for example, with that Saturn, right? That Saturn having to do with higher education, a lot of times people move towards higher education to secure some sort of a credential, some sort of a degree. And this part of the sky has to do with working towards that as well. But it's not really about the degree. It's about who you become in the process. It's not about the credential. It's about how you evolve in the journey, right? That really just is an external affirmation to ultimately a deeply personal and consistent journey that you take. Well, it's kind of the same thing where it comes to work as well. It's not always about what we think. It's not just about making money. 
but chances are as you move through your day as you interact with clients and customers and coworkers as well there are many small moments that make up a shift that make up a day that make up your life and in these moments there's tremendous potential to share love and opportunities to heal more deeply to heal any part of you that feels that maybe there's only limits to love or how much can you love or how much will you accept love it is ultimately all about whatever it is that gets in the way of us truly being able to see ourselves and others and to get it out of the way that is spiritual work and some of that spiritual work may show up for you under the light of this new moon but it is work that is very rewarding indeed where it comes to matters of love, in the first part of the month, we are going to continue to have Venus moving through a super flirtatious part of your sky. That's energy you're starting the month with. Throughout the month, you've got Mars in a very flirtatious part of your sky as well. Now, this is all linked, of course, to the new moon of late last month. You might wanna watch that video again because I dive into all the possibilities and all the fun that is set to be had as you enter this month. So you're still carrying that energy of Venus, you're carrying the energy of Mars right to the very end of the month. And so there is that desire to experience romance, to experience love that will have you being particularly brave. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, well, there is motivation to connect with a new person that is very much with you now and it'll have you being, well, I think other people might call it kind of gutsy as you go out there connecting with new people. There will be more than one opportunity to get your flirt on with a month like this. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, if you're just getting to know someone, it is a beautiful month in that regard. Now, as you navigate towards the second half of the month, there may be some moments where you are asking yourself whether or not your lives fit together whether or not your habits fit together. But for all that, there is still a lot of opportunity to experience a growing romance. And for those of you who are in an established bond, what a powerful time it is as well. There is a desire to enjoy each other's more, to feel each other's hearts more awakened in the presence of each other. And that could lend itself to uh, some particularly notable moments, moments of courage, moments of chivalry, but also moments of fun that the two of you will hold long after this month is over. What I love about this month for you, well look, there is a lot here, but I am going to say, I do love how you're starting this month, that's for sure. All these beautiful Uranus trines, we've got all the major planets in the first part of the month uh, speaking with Uranus in your sign. Now this is an energy of fun and lightness and freedom and luck that is with you as you are starting the month. And this is something that you do wanna tap into fully. Make sure you are doing whatever it is that you feel inspired towards. Experiment with what it is that makes your heart feel uh, alive, makes your heart sing. And chances are in the process, you'll stumble on not only a sense of joy, but also practical games. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.